guys, what's going on? Nathan343 here. So, as you can see here, we have a totem set up uh, in front of us with one of my big uh, 230 beam movers uh, that I got a while back. So I don't have them hooked up, just have one up there for, for demonstration purposes. But uh, these PAR lights we got from Sheds uh, make awesome totem uplighting. Uh, so if you're looking for some totem uplighting and you don't want to use them as you know wash lighting or par lighting or uplighting totems make a really good way to use these i've got them set on kind of a, a changing color deal i've got them just master slaved uh, i've got one there and one over here next to our christmas tree so <clears throat> i think that looks pretty good them together as you can see i only got one of the moving heads out i've got the road case there that those fit in so uh which we've got we've got some more stuff coming to the shed so if you guys are in the market for some lighting definitely stay tuned to the channel because uh lots of uh, sheds uh product reviews coming soon uh, this one here i don't have anything on top of it i've just got it in there uh, i really think it, they're, they're bright uh, they're probably brighter than my battery operated stuff at some some point uh, at least my rock wedges uh, they're a lot brighter than those uh, the black light uh, if you want to run the up light in these, it's black light. You know, that looks cool. I'm going to go ahead and raise up a scrim so you guys can see it in there. It's actually not even sitting. I have it just barely, just barely sitting in there. Just, I mean, if, if you take the bracket off and let it sit in there, you're not going to have enough clearance, at least on this, for the power supply. I wish they would make it like a 45 or a 90, like a 90 degree. Uh, plug that would come down just a little bit and then shoot off to the side But I don't think they make those but as you can see you've got the uh, DMX cable there the fans running uh, It's putting out tons of light It looked really good. This is the master and then it runs over there to the slave So this is what I'll probably use for these because I was actually in the market to get some uh, lights for my totems and Brian over at uh, Sheds. I think in the last video I called him Brandon, but his name's technically Brian. So, sorry about that, Brian. <laughs> so, yeah, I like them. I think they're really cool. Or if you just needed some black light for a Halloween party or a birthday party, you could take these and set them up in your house, uh, plug them in, set them to black light, you've got instant black light. So, and they're LED and they're brighter. They're a lot brighter than those black light tube uh, lights so as you can see it looks really good with a mover I'll put the scrim back down here on it I've got the white scrim putting this one handed I'm holding the camera there we go so it looks really good and then I'm gonna give you a shot from up above so that is shooting down inside of the uh, hole that's in top of this uh, um, Grim, as you can see my hands there pushing in on it but you can see the light down in there I can probably zoom in on it so you can see the LEDs changing and if we go to this hole if I can get my camera lined up here you can even see it down in there so really good fan you know I mean it's it's a little loud but I like it I think it I mean it, I would rather my lighting stay cool because what you know when LEDs get hot they do burn out so then I've got the power cord running just over here to a plug all my totems fit in this bag they collapse and undo and fit in that bag and I've got a bag for my plate for the bottom this is the Rockville uh, totem a collapsible totem this is not even the highest setting but this is the highest setting I normally run my totems on um, so I wouldn't mind getting another set of these so I can run those wash moving heads, uh, which here sometime next year, we're gonna be doing a, uh, a road case uh, product review uh, on a case that's gonna look something like this. Uh, this is the case for the 290s or the 250s or 40s or 30, 230s. <laughs> so this is the case that holds those. And uh, this is the uh, case from Harmony Cases. Uh, that we did a review on and then if you want to stay tuned to my channel and uh, DJ Mike James's channel we're going to be doing a 
custom homemade uh, case that we can put uh, lighting in, we can put cabling in, we can put uh, DMX cable in, we're going to make false bottoms, we're going to make dividers. It's going to be all cool. So we're looking right now at getting, you know, ends. Uh, we're looking at, because we're going to be doing a lot of uh, uh, riveting. We're looking at the butterfly locks. We're looking at this uh, paneling here that the cases are made out of, uh, which we found, I do believe, at Lowe's. Um, so... Yeah, so Sheds, uh, I believe, is going to be sending me a road case. Uh, it won't be here for a little while due to high quality and it takes time to get here, especially with the holidays, but I do have my DJ Fire logo on that one, so I need to get some other stickers and logos and stuff like that on there that I've got, but again, I think if you guys are looking for some pretty awesome looking par lights that are cheap, affordable, that are metal, that have very good heat sink, that have PowerCon, DMX, uh, there you can master slave them. They have sound active. Uh, the yeah. sound active also is also like a strobe sound active, and then they have a regular sound active. Um, so, yeah, and you could probably put these in chain if you have other up lighting. You could DMX them together. If you have wireless DMX, you could get. Uh, I do believe Shed sells wireless DMX uh, receivers and transmitters. So, in final words, I think this light is very cool. If you're looking for, like if you have a stage at school or you do plays, uh, schools, this would be awesome for a school light, you know, to shine down on your stage. You could DMX them, control them that way. Um, they have a really nice fan on them, so I don't think they're gonna cause any problems with overheating. I think they're you know, built well. The heat sink here is very thick. And these are not, uh, you know, these are not your El Cheapos off Amazon. These are your 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 high dollar, you know, not really high dollar. These are like your professional grade lights, I guess you would say. These are not made just for kids' bedrooms. These are made to use, I mean, you could use them in kids' bedrooms, but uh, for up lighting or for wall washing or to spotlight something or for stage lighting, these guys are really cool. And I just like how they're built. I think that they're very sturdy, very strong. The brackets are very thick and uh, w do not seem like they're gonna bend. Uh, like I said, the black light's really cool. And uh, I will be adding these to my setup. Uh, that will be my totem lights uh, so I can shine up in there. So yeah, very excited. Go check them out, link in the description. I wanna give a big shout out to Brian for again setting this up. Uh, and uh, Brian, you're awesome. I, everything you sent to me uh, means a lot to me. Uh, I'm really glad I'm a part of helping you guys out with your business and promoting your product. So go check them out, guys. Uh, link in the description. And uh, yeah, I normally don't do final reviews this fast, but I've used this a couple times, just kind of in around the house. I even set them on my porch and had one set to green, one set to red. I had them for Christmas lighting. Um, yeah, which they do make these in waterproof, and we're going to be reviewing that version very soon. So stay tuned to the channel, and uh, you'll get to see the waterproof version of this. We're going to actually test it out, and we are going to do some tests to see how good of waterproof waterproof it is. We're going to spray it with a check it out. Mm -hmm. See how bright they are outside. So stay tuned to the channel for that, and some other stuff coming, uh, DJ related and uh, lighting related so again thanks brian and uh thank you all for watching we'll see you in the next one go check them out